CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we're going to show you a couple of different things you can do to split up your video signals and then transmit the video. So I have one camera in the background, which you see right there. And it's BNC output is coming right in here, going into a video distributor where one input is being split into four and then it's arcing into through these cables into an input on my BNC video Balin uh, power and video transceiver hub. I have two of those. So video signal for four signals comes in and then I am transmitting it out through a four in one connection there through cat five into another unit there and then outputting it from the second unit which is acting as the receiver through these cables into the back of my DVR out the HDMI and onto the screen so that same camera is has its output being distributed transmitted through video balin hubs into the DVR so what's the point of this video First, to show you that you can distribute video signals through a video distributor. Second, to show you what is a video Balin power transceiver hub. So although the bottom green ones you see, they could be used with our video power Balins to connect cameras. So imagine you have a camera here, and then you've got a video power Balin, which is like a pigtail, Cat5 going in here, that then can be converted to BNC if you wanted. Or it could be converted to video through one of these 4-in-1 connectors. In this case, I'm using it, the Balin Power Transceiver Hub, to take BNC video inputs, combine them into one CAT5. So four video signals over one CAT5. You can go over up to 780 feet if you're using 1080p. HD, it all depends on your signal type and the quality of the cable you use. If you use solid copper CAT6, you can go up to 700 feet of transmission with 1080p 30fps signals. And then I'm inputting it into another one matching unit. It's acting just as a receiver automatically. And then I'm outputting the signal via BNC, going into my DVR and the DVR then multiplexes the signal over there. I hope you find this video useful in understanding what else can a video power bail and transceiver hub be used for make sure you check out our other video on how to actually connect our video power balance and run them off of a video power bail and transceiver hub thanks for watching